Hello, folks. Uh, we are at the Republican National no, Convention. I'm accused of that. Oh, yeah. We have, uh, we have invaded the perimeter. Yes. Uh, <laughs> it is a little bit hard to get in here. As uh, you can see, there is a lot of security here. And it takes a, it takes a while to get through. But uh, absolutely no worse than trying to uh, get through your basic you know, airport. Actually, lines are a lot faster. So we're going to head in and see what we see today. Howdy. Thank you. And we've had credential checks about every uh, 30 feet here, so. And uh, we are inside. Here we go. So, inside here, we've got interviews going on. Not sure who we got. Uh, take off the sunglasses so I can see what you're saying. We are uh, we are live in St. Paul. Yes. So um, we're going to wander here and see where this gets us. Take the elevator down. Okay. Yeah, just ask the person in the orange shirt and they'll put you in. Place. I'll put me in the right place. Yeah. Okay, thank you. All right. For media, we get in this way. Okay. All right. Need to get to the media area? Yeah, it's there up the top floor. Okay. Top floor. Okay, great. Okay. Yes. So this kind of gives you a inside look about what it's like to be media at the Republican National Convention. So, sharing that with you because obviously a lot of you folks can't do that. Uh, we're here today courtesy of uh, KTNF, which I do some occasional fill-in work for on radio, and so we thank them for that. Um, it's still, hmm. We're still waiting for the elevator, so. Ah, here we go. We have an elevator. Here we go. We're going up. <sighs> you don't often have to ha get a uh, elevator operator anymore, do you? Oh, yeah. And there you go. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. Sure. Okay. That's, uh, I think, credential check number six on the way in here. Ah. And here's where all the press folks are today. Keep wandering around here and see what else there is to see. It's the uh, National Public Radio setup. Which makes us on a Probably the best seat in the house, Fox News Radio. <laughs> and the ABC. So this is Radio Row here is where we're at right now. Uh, and more public radio here. That's uh, Minnesota Public Radio.
so. Okay. So that's our uh, kind of quick tour, which you can see what's going on media-wise here. You know, we'll uh, we're kind of kind of wander around, and uh, I've only got got another uh, 15 minutes over here before I got to get back to do a few other things. But uh, wanted to at least take you folks inside so you can see what's happening. Uh, I'm gonna. Well, I'm going to keep this on, actually, because if I lose the stream, who knows if we get it back. So we'll head down. We are um, looking at the media row here. This is CBS, by the way. Streaming live and showing our audience what's going on. Oh, nice. Yeah. Care to talk to us for a minute about what you've sure. been seeing? Yeah, happy to. Sure. Who are you with? Uh, Redstate.com. Redstate.com. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I'm not familiar with Redstate. I should be. Tell me what well, Redstate is. We are is. the, um, I guess you could say, one of the largest conservative communities online. Uh, anyone can come and post their information. Uh, likewise, we're the most widely read Rider Center blog on Capitol Hill. Okay. And your name is? Eric Erickson. Eric Erickson. And what is What's the most interesting story you found here so far at the RNC? Uh, gee, you know, the reaction to the, to the Palin pick by the delegates, people are in love with this woman. They, they have embraced her. They recognize her as one of their own. They're excited by her. And now they're very excited by John McCain as a result. Did you read the quote on uh, what Peggy Noonan had to say just after they turned off the cameras? They kept the microphones open? Uh, I don't think I did. What did she say? She said, uh, I think it was something to the effect that uh, it was politics, and this was a joke, or some. I'm, I'm paraphrasing there, but that was. Uh, it was uh, that was her, her no, words. Uh, you know, McCain tried to get Bobby Jindal. Bobby Jindal said no. Who's the other young Republican reformer who has stood up to their party in the nation? That would be Sarah mm -hmm. Palin. McCain needed mm -hmm. a governor. Um, I think Obama needed a governor mm -hmm. uh, to to get some of that executive experience. There's a whole different level of experience, a whole different style of running a campaign when you're an executive. Uh, and it pays off. That's why it's, it's so rare for a senator to become president. Um, K. Bailey Hutchinson. I mean, another senator, but... Yeah, well, I mean, she'll be running for governor. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, beyond, beyond that, beyond the obvious of the, uh, the whole Palin story, what has stuck out? Anything? Uh, you know, just uh, the delegates, the protesters, the protesters getting tear gas, you know. When, when protesters in Denver didn't get tear gas, didn't do anything to mm -hmm. cost tear gassing, but here they seem to really just not like the Republicans. Um, the, the funny thing is the, the peaceful protesters are the ones who are causing all the violence. Huh. The peaceful